I'm Craig Richardson, here at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym in Syasset, New York. Getting ready to knock out some shoulders six weeks and one day out from the Mr. Olympia. Hope you're there to cheer me on. Um, you know, I've made five trips to the Olympia. Most people, you know, might have actually forgotten that. Um, my normal contest weight is usually around 216 to 218. Uh, but I get lost in the crowd, obviously, when you're standing next to Phil and Branch and Jay and all those guys when, you know, you're a little light, it's a little hard. Um, it's weird because there's times where I've beaten uh, some of the other guys that were two, you know, 50 uh, in other shows like the New York Pro. And then all of a sudden you get to the Olympia and they're in the same conditioning that they were in New York and I'm the same condition that I was in New York and all of a sudden they beat me. Uh, so it was a little discouraging. So I haven't done it in a few years. Um, you know, obviously I'm a little older and was actually thinking about calling it quits. Uh, my training partner, Harley Bright, which is, you know, my best friend in the world. And, you know, my wife, Jennifer, you know, telling me, hey, listen, you've been doing this a very long time. Give it another shot. Um, the owner of MHP, Gerard, which is a very good friend of mine, I've actually known him since I was 17 years old, uh, told me about Chris Aceto. He said, hey, how about you give Chris Aceto a call, talk to him, maybe he'll work with you. He's a little selective with some of the people he works with, but maybe he'll work with you. So I emailed Chris. It took a few days uh, for him to get back to me. When he got back to me, um, you know, he basically said he would take me on as a client. And he, you know, assured me that I was in good hands. Uh, the first couple of weeks went by, my body didn't change at all. Uh, I was a little nervous. You know, what the heck am I doing? I'm 40 years old. Um, my body isn't changing the way that it used to. Uh, but he kept telling me everything's going to be all right. I was actually set to do the New York Pro 212. Uh, the problem was I tore my quad about six weeks out. Uh, not even from training, getting off the bed the wrong way. That's when you know that you're getting old. Um, so I had to skip New York, uh, and I had to skip Toronto. And then all of a sudden my condition started to get better and better and better. Um, I actually became a little more dense than I usually, you know, have been in the past, uh, a little more cross striated. Uh, we tested the waters in Dallas. Um, but my metabolism is still pretty fast, actually, which is very weird. Uh, I ended up coming down to about 204. Uh, I was ready to go at 216. But then all of a sudden, three days later, I weighed in at 204, and we had to eat a bunch of cheeseburgers and uh, pancakes and everything else to get my weight back up to around 209. Um, after that, we figured out what was going on, or Chris figured it out rather, and basically said, okay, we're going to do uh, the next show, which is Chicago, two weeks later. Reluctantly, I said, oh, okay, you know what, we'll do it. Uh, once we did it, you know, uh, he changed a few things around. I came in at around 210, uh, etched, ready to go, and I actually got the victory. So this will be my first year uh, at the 212 Olympia. Um, I'm going against some really, 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 you know, good guys, big names, um, you know, make no mistakes. Any one of those guys on any given day, you know, Jose Raymond, Carrera, any one of those guys can actually win, you know. Um, so I got my work cut out for me. We have six weeks and one day to go. So, you know, I'm taking it one day at a time and I'm just hoping to get out there and be able to do some damage with some guys my own weight for once. First, I'd like to thank my wife, Jennifer, and my kids, um, and my granddaughter at home. Uh, you know, they put up with all my crap all these years, getting ready for these contests, uh, not being able to go places that we normally would like to go, not being able to eat at most of the places they would like to eat. Uh, they make such a sacrifice for me that when the show's over, I try to do everything I can possibly do uh, to make their life a little bit easier. So I'd like to say thank you to them. Also to my training partner and longtime friend, Harley Bright. Uh, he's a criminal defense attorney in uh, Passaic County, New Jersey. We've been training together for almost 18 years. Uh, he is at every contest. He's at every training session. Um, he doesn't miss a cardio session. He does everything to help me get ready for contests. He does things that no one else ever will. 
Uh, I also would like to thank MHP, all the guys there that have been behind me. Um, you know, I'm really appreciative of all the things you've done for me over the years. Uh, hopefully we'll have many more good years together. And I'd also like to thank all the guys at GetBig.com, if I may. Uh, those guys are very brutal and honest, and you keep me on my toes, uh, and you keep me grounded. So, you know, Harley and I both would like to thank all of you guys uh, for not killing me too bad. And also a big thank you to NPC News Online. <laughs>